I'm Janelle Selton Holtmeyer, editor of Modern Distribution Management, and today I'm talking with Angela Rodenberg, marketing director for Vancouver, British Columbia based Redwood Plastics. Redwood Plastics has seven branches across North America and provides custom plastic components to customers across a wide range of industries. Hi, Angela, how are you? I'm great. How has business been? Business has been really great. It's been a very interesting last few years with obviously a lot of changes in the marketplace, but that also has led to a lot of opportunities for us to differentiate ourselves. Are there any certain areas where you're seeing more strength? I know you guys will operate across a wide range of industries. Yeah, we operate under a very wide range of industries. There's about um, 40 to 50 different industry classes that we've sort of categorized for ourselves. We see a lot of growth lately with the mining sector, oil and gas, and sawmilling is actually coming back a little bit for us as well. So what's the outlook for the rest of 2014? Right now, we're concentrating a lot on oil and gas. We have an oil and gas uh, GPS show coming up next month in Calgary, Alberta. We also have some new product lines that we are trying to develop with different industries as well, wastewater and things like that. Concentrating on safety, a lot of maintenance-type projects that help reduce costs and increase production as well. So Redwood Plastics was selected as one of our 2014 market movers this year, so congratulations. Thank you very much. The reason we selected Redwood Plastics was because of its initiatives around increasing engagement and conversion through digital platforms. Could you talk a little bit about what Redwood has been doing in this area? So over the last I would say five or six years, we've really tried to embrace all of the opportunities available on an online platform and all the different technology applications and social media and having a mobile site, all those kinds of things, and grasping at all those opportunities those lay before us. So we've invested a lot in our website, on SEO, on SEM. We do a lot of engagement on social media platforms and really try to give a place for our customers to find more information about our products and engage with our salespeople and just really open up the lines of communication in as many ways as we possibly can. So what is the impact of that then? The impact has been great. We've just recently opened up a department where we contact our customers strictly using online platforms. So we've got two people that are in that sales department now where they use online chat and they speak to people with uh, social media platforms. We do a lot of proactive selling instead of just waiting for the phone ring or having to depend on outside salespeople, which, which is obviously costly. We have people on the inside that are actively searching for you know, new customers and new opportunities that way, which has led to that department growing substantially over the last couple years. With, with our future plans as well, we just expect that to develop and grow. What were some of the drivers? I think the biggest reason was because we just saw an opportunity to do to it that a lot of our competition wasn't embracing. And because you know, we're a smaller company in comparison to a lot of other the plastics distribution companies, we really have to differentiate ourselves and provide a different value to the customers that we deal with. And we do have extensive knowledge of a variety of different applications and you know how to use different plastic grades and different applications and what plastics might be better suited to increase the product life and, and things like that. We just kind of saw an opportunity for us to engage our customers more and provide that information and be that go-to company when someone's having trouble. So what's the next step for Redwood Plastics in this area? We are actually in the process of building a e-commerce site, which has been a extensive project for us over the last few months, and we're hoping to launch that probably by the, by the end of this year. So that will give just another opportunity for our customers to be able to ask more questions and engage us online and be able to quickly and efficiently you know, order what they need, but also have the same sales support that they would from an outside salesperson with an online chat and being able to have video conferencing and stuff like that to be able to engage with a a broader audience and people that are further away, but still being able to have a relationship with those people. So I know a lot of distributors recently have been really focused on that e-commerce platform, even much more so than a lot of the social media or digital conversations. Why did Redwood Plastics decide to focus on that 
online digital conversation before launching the e-commerce platform? Well, we tried an e-commerce platform probably about five years ago on a really small um, scale. To be honest, we really just didn't do it properly. We didn't go all in and do our research at the forefront. So we saw an opportunity to do a lot of the conversations and SEO and just gain the searchability results first from an online standpoint that way and do a lot of engagement with social media and things like that. It does have a lot of people coming to us with questions. But with the e-commerce thing, we've gone back, done a lot of research over the past year, and we really want to do it properly. We don't want to just be an online inventory store. With the e-commerce site, we're going to be offering a little, something a little bit different and being able to have our clients be able to customize products and be able to you know, upload drawings and do things just a little bit differently than just stock shapes. So why is it so important for distributors to be looking at these types of initiatives today? I think there's a huge opportunity with the way that people are you know, looking for information. If you look at the growth of how people use their phones, how people communicate, how people are searching for information, and if you don't seize that opportunity, I think people are really missing out on, on a large audience, especially as time goes by and, and generations change. And then if you're not there, people are going to have to play catch up very quickly. So this last question is one that we ask everybody we feature in this segment, and that's, what keeps you awake at night? I think what keeps me up at night in regards to distribution and manufacturing itself is just being able to stay afloat when there's so many big players out there now, and you really have to think about your audience and your customers and really providing a value and differentiating yourself so that you're, you're not eat, eaten up by, by the bigger guys. And I, I feel like there's going to be this change that's going to happen where a lot of the smaller companies are, are going to disappear, which is sort of unfortunate because when it comes to buying small amounts and doing really custom products, I think those are going to end up becoming really expensive if all that ends up existing is the really large companies that are really just interested in, in large volume and not providing that small quantity, really personalized attention that some people need. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Well, thank you very much.